Hello everyone, this is Indro and today in Photoshop Power Tips, I'll show you 5 amazing Photoshop tricks that can speed up your design process to a great extent. In this tip, I'll show you how you can quickly align all center items. It can be text, images or shapes. So what I'll do is, first I'll try to align this text layer at the very center of this document vertically and horizontally. To do that, I'll quickly select the entire document by pressing Ctrl plus A in Windows or Command plus A in Mac and then press V or select this Move tool and you will see that in the toolbar you will have these small buttons and you can click this one which will align at the text or an item horizontally center of the selection in this case the whole document and you can also press this one to align it vertically center now you can also try this one to align it to the top bottom left or right but i'll right now keep it aligned to the very center of the document okay i'll quickly deselect this and i'll show you if i wanted to align this text in respect to this banner over here so to do that i'll hold ctrl or command on the keyboard and click on this layer thumbnail so that i can get a selection around this banner now i'll do the same thing i'll select this move tool and i'll make sure that i'm selecting this text layer and then if i press this horizontally center button you can see that the text is automatically centered at the middle position in this banner so I can also click this button and it will get aligned at the center within this banner region. Now if you are thinking how I'll get these two layers aligned at the center of this document, I can easily do that by turning these two layers into a group. But before that, I'll quickly deselect the selection. I'll select the banner layer and hold shift and select the text layer so both of these layers are selected. Now I'll press Ctrl plus G in Windows or Command plus G on the keyboard to turn it to a group. Now with my group selected, I'll press Ctrl A or Command A so that my whole document gets selected and now again if I press this move tool and if I press this horizontally aligned center or vertically aligned center you can see that it's a very quickly aligned at the middle of the document in this tip i'll show you how you can quickly make a text mask of any layer so you might be thinking that if i wanted to create a text mask on this banner one i could be doing it like this hold control or command on the keyboard double click on this layer thumbnail so that i have a selection of the text layer hide this layer select the banner layer and click this layer mask icon and with the layer mask icon selected i can click ctrl i or command i to invert it and i can have a masked out layer but this is non-destructive because we have a pixel mask over here and we cannot edit the text anymore so there is a very simple way to add a text mask non-destructively that means you can change the text even after you have added that text mask so to do that select the text layer and double click on it and once the layer styles window opens you have this knockout drop down over here click it to expand it and select shallow once a shallow is selected and you start to lower down this fill opacity you will see that the text layer is starting to knock out the below layers so i'll hit ok over here and what it has done is it has knocked out all the layers below it except the very last layer so now if i double click on it to select the text layer and i try to change it you can see that it's non-destructive and i can change it to anything i want so now all the layers below it are independent you can simply move them around without affecting the layer mask now you might be wondering that i might want to apply this knockout effect on the banner one but i want this banner two to show through this text so in order to do that what you can do is select banner one hold a shift 
and then select text to highlight both of these layers and then press Ctrl G or Command G on the keyboard to group them. So what it has done now is it has grouped these two layers and now this knockout effect will only apply within this group. So the very last layer after this group is this teal layer. So the knockout text is showing through this layer. So by this way, you can create cool text masks in a very non-destructive way. In this tip, I'll show you how you can very quickly select the bright pixels in an image so that you can target the bright or the dark pixels only and you can add your adjustments only specific to those pixels. To do that, you can select the bright pixels by going to select color range and highlights or shadows, but there's a very cool way to do that. To do that, you can press this combination key of Ctrl, Alt and number 2 on the keyboard in Windows or Command, Option and number 2 on the keyboard. What this will do is, as you can see, this has selected the bright areas in the image which has a brightness value of 100% to 50%. So now, if I create a curves layer, you'll see that I have added the curves layer and apply the layer mask to it which corresponds to the bright pixels only. I can hold Alt or Option on the keyboard and see the layer mask. This is how it looks. So right now I can change the curves here and you can see that it's only affecting the bright pixels and not the dark one. So if you want to apply your change on the dark pixels, you can simply select the layer mask and press Ctrl I or Command I on the keyboard to invert it and now this will only affect the dark pixels in your image. There is also another way to select these bright pixels other than this keyboard shortcut and that is you can go to this channels tab and you have this RGB channel over here. You can hold down your control or command key on the keyboard and click on this layer thumbnail and as you can see it has also selected the bright pixels. And if this channels tab is not present here you can enable it by going to Window, Channels. In this tip, I'll show you how you can quickly color correct and improper color casting on your image by the curves adjustment layer. So here you can see that in this image is having a weird greenish color cast. To correct it, I'll add a curves adjustment tool and I'll hold my Alt or Option key here and just as I click it, it will open the auto color correction options panel and over here make sure to click the find dark and light colors and then click OK. Now I'll select this sample image to set gray point and I'll try to find the area which is supposed to be gray. And so now if I select some area in this mountain shadow region, you can see that it's correcting my image color casting to a more correct and proper one. In this tip, I'll show you how you can quickly change the size and the hardness of your brush without even opening the brush tool. So I'm selecting here a hard round brush and by the time now you already know I believe that pressing the square bracket keys on the keyboard increases your brush size but what if I told you that if you hold shift and then hit the square bracket keys on the keyboard it will change your brush hardness. So you can press shift and press the right square bracket to increase the brush hardness or you can hold shift and press the left square bracket and this will decrease your brush hardness. And with that, you can also change this brush size and brush hardness using your mouse. To do that, you need to hold down your control and alt key and then click your right click and then if you drag sideways, you'll see that it's increasing or decreasing the brush size and if you pull it up or down, this will increase or decrease your brush hardness. I hope you like this video and if you want to hear more tips and tricks on Photoshop, be sure to share your ideas on the comment section below. And if this video helped you in any way, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. 
and hit the notification bell. And I will see you in the next video. Till then, stay creative.